Hello there all, welcome back. In the previous video, I've shown you how to create the simple reference file in which we can go ahead and start creating the landscape. So in this video, let's understand the different steps you'll have to take while creating the landscape itself. Now, while I'm looking at this file, the first things to note is that the reason we have actually created this object is so that we can actually use it as a reference. Now, what are the main things about this object? First off, I'm going to be holding the entire landscape using the corners of the cylinder. So the shape of the landscape should be such that it will conform with the cylinder itself. So it looks like I'm actually holding this. Uh, so holding a cylinder which has a landscape attached to it. It should not look odd. It should not look like as if I'm holding a plate instead of a cylinder. So therefore it should look like a cylinder no matter what. That's the first step. Next, there are these markers which are placed here on top and also the cylinder itself is a, has a certain thickness. So no matter what happens in the scene, I don't want to actually go about and start removing these markers myself. I don't want to sit in Photoshop or in Nuke, roto it out or stamp, uh, clone stamp it out or anything like that. So therefore, what I want to do is make sure my landscape actually covers all of these markers. So that's a second thing which I want to take care of. So first I want to make sure the landscape is touching properly on the two edges where I'm holding it. And next, I want to make sure that all these markers are completely covered with the landscape so that there is going to be no paint job which is going to be left out in the end. So that's it for most of the uh, basics you have to understand while well before we go into making the landscape itself. So now let's go ahead and get started creating the landscape.